you know, it might help us save resources while we find out about the extent to which other virtues are present in an explanation. You might think it's, it's reasonable to hope that a simple theory which is false, you know, a simple theory which isn't true will eventually do badly on the other fronts and be weeded out due to them. So if you've got a simple but false theory, you might think, well, eventually some data might come along which the theory has trouble explaining, and then we'll realise that we need something that maybe is more complicated. Um, or it might not be fruitful. It might be a kind of dead end. Um, and then we see that there's this other explanation which isn't so simple, but it opens up all kinds of new lines of inquiry. It's, it's, it's fruitful in that way. Okay, so we'll turn now to the second big overall problem with abduction. Okay, so this is an epistemic problem about applying abduction, a problem about how do you know something. And this is distinct from the epistemic problem we saw before, the sub-problem. That was about knowing the extent to which